previously on Danganronpa 2, Goodbye Despair. I completely forgot about that. That's a thing I for completely forgot about when I forgot about that thing that I forgot about that one time when I forgot about that thing. Okay, let's board the train. I just need to get on this train, babe. No way! Wow, there's really no need to be cautious. It's not like it's gonna speed up, drop, fly, or anything else. Hey! I'm I'm gonna believe you this time, so you better be telling the truth. Well, I'm not! Alright! Alright, let's go! She is overly hyped for a choo-choo train. Actually, no, no, trains are cool. As soon as we all stepped on the small trains, er, as soon as we stepped on, the small train started slowly moving and went inside the damn tunnel. Ladies and gentlemen, this they train is heading toward the angry, funhouse! Except, uh, Allow me to guide you all He's to like, the world oh my of gosh, surprises on train. this train that runs I love toward trains. glory! Please be careful of where you step. And also, Gundam. it's dangerous to stand up all of a sudden. G Gundam's, like, not trusting well, Nekomaru it's not like you have time at all. To do that. It's like, oh my goodness. What is this new dog Deva of destruction? What the hell? Oh no. The fog. Is this gas? Uh, Damn it. Oh. This I, was definitely a trap. I guess we're dying now. As soon as that white smoke surrounded us, our body started to feel like soft. Our bodies started to feel soft, like mollusks. Our brains felt like they were starting to melt into a puddle of mush, and in the end, we lost consciousness. The end. Holy sh... What? <laughs> when I woke up, I was someplace that didn't make sense. It was clearly a place I've never seen before. My sense of reality was still hazy, so I wasn't able to put... Uh, to react right away. <laughs> Where is this? However, when I looked over at Nekomaru standing tall in a wide stance, my sense of reality felt even hazier. Uh, <sighs> man, I slept good. Oh Has my. she always had like a little pin on her shirt? Uh, where are we? What? Uh, what the hell is this? Voices expressing surprise and confusion began to surround me one after another. It seems that the others have started to wake up as well. Mm. Why was I sleeping at a place like this? Good night. Oh well, I should go back to sleep for a little longer. I love her. That's obviously wrong! No, don't! You seriously can't do that. What did you do to me? I assume that this was that gas is doing. Damn it! That gas we were forced to breathe right after the train started moving. It must have knocked us all out. And... Then we were brought here, huh? I see. I hope they have pudding. In that case, this must be the interior of the funhouse. Welcome! What a shitty looking funhouse. Welcome, welcome to Strawberry House. Strawberry House? Isn't this the funhouse? Yep. Of course it's the funhouse. Strawberry House is part of the funhouse. <clears throat> a part, you say? Allow me to explain. Now then, allow me to explain already. Oh. What? Ta-da! This is Strawberry House in its entirety! You are currently at the indoor park, located on the third floor! As you can see, there's a lot of playground equipment with strawberry designs. How fancy! It actually kind of looks like shit. Now, then, next is the second floor. There's a lounge that's perfect for freshening up, and I've prepared five guest rooms that are lined up like BOOM! The guest rooms are divided by quality grade. I call tips on the best one. The deluxe room is soundproof and has excellent air insulation. The standard room has may have so-so insulation, but it's still pretty decent. And the crummy room has severe airflow and draft problems. That concludes my explanation of the second floor, last but not least, the first floor the, of Strawberry House. On this floor, there's a room called the Final Dead Room. And that's like, that's all like, BOOM! You can enter the final dead room at any time, and be extra cautious when you pick the difficulty setting. On the same floor, there's a hallway called Strawberry Hall, and when you pass through it, there's a truly strange room, Enormous Tower. Oh, there's a truly strange, enormous tower standing tall with a boom boom. 
It's where you take boom booms. It's a bathroom. It, that, that, that's it. It's a bathroom. It's called Strawberry Tower. Please put your... Uh, please your, use your own two feet to get a feel for what the inside of Strawberry Tower is like. Oh man, I wanted to use hmm. Gundam speed after I severed them. This concludes the tour, but I think it was difficult to understand with my wordy explanation. So you should all use your own two feet to explore the inside of the building. Hmm? That's all for me. Any questions? Hey, hey, hey! How dare we have questions, obviously. What's this? Really? Really? What's your question? Really? What do you To bring us to a place for? like this, what are you planning to make us do this time? That's right! That's right. I have a lot of questions, but let's start with that one first. Mm -hmm. I actually don't have any questions. I was hoping someone else would have a question. Ah, didn't I explain it to you? <laughs> this is the motive this time. Oh, shit, we got the motive early. That means we got a murder early. Nice. Yeah An escape game! Uh, escape game? Wait, In other words... We didn't have any free time between last trial and this trial? Shit. I guess we can't bond with anyone. I mean, most of the people we were bonding with died. So, that's fine. This concept... The concept this time is a closed circle within a closed circle. This whole thing is a circle, but not like a normal circle. More like a freaky circle that doesn't go anywhere. <laughs> like Hope Street Academy, then. This one house is a completely closed space. Hey, um... There's only one way to get out of this closed space building. Viva killing! When the killing begins, I'll let you guys out when the next killing happens. Now, let the escape game begin. Alright, who wants to die? Huh? What? 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 Oh. what the fuck? Bro, my thoughts exactly. Damn it! Oh, I really hope the rest of the building isn't as ugly looking as this. Honestly, the wallpaper hurts my eyes. We can't get out of here until the next killing happens. Good thing I have might have a heart attack soon. I'm sold. This is troubling. I knew this was a trap, but I never expected it to be so straightforward. How foolish of me! How foolish of me. If I if only I'd erected a magical barrier, I wouldn't have had to breathe in that gas using my erect penis. I couldn't help myself. I let my guard down and ended up falling asleep. Hey! Like, why would gas even work on a robot? That's supposed to be when you make a move. <laughs> gas should pose a problem, but... If they activate my sleep mode, even I won't stand a chance. Huh? Sleep mode? Oh! That's right. It's a cutting-edge function that puts my other functions to sleep. Even if I have insomnia. Just press the good night button on the back of my neck and I'll be forced to enter sleep mode. What's the point of that function? <laughs> Didn't I just tell you it puts my other functions to sleep even if I have insomnia? Hey, hey! Do you even need to sleep? <laughs> in order to awaken from sleep mode, I just need to set the alarm in my chest. It's all possible with just one touch. Jeez! Damn it, he's not even listening. How pitiful. And I thought I needed hearing aids. He probably just wants to live like humans as much as he can. Such as the sad nature of robotic organisms. Man. At any rate, Monokuma sure stuffed him with a lot of useless functions. Um. Um, I don't know. I like the coke. Anyway, Mechamaru must have lost consciousness because his button was pressed. Damn it! What a blunder! He must have. I've fallen for one of them classic blunders. He must have taken advantage of that white smoke that went around me. <laughs> I never let let that. Let that. I'll never let that happen again! Hey, hey! For now, why don't we look for the exit? But... Exit? Is there even an exit? I mean, if there was, this wouldn't be a closed space, right? It'd make Monokuma's motive meaningless. Dumbass! What are you giving up for, dumbass? I meant the exit to this room. D dumbass If we were brought inside this... inside this place, then there's definitely an exit out somewhere! Amazing! Amazing! A heart that refuses to give up until the very end. Oh, my heart's giving out! Oh, shit! <laughs> oh, well, I guess we can leave now, because he's dead. That must be hope. <laughs> yes, I understand. Then let's explore the inside of this building with that map we got. Well? But exploring on your own is too dangerous. It might be better if we team up with someone. I call anyone but Nagito. Or Kazuichi. Damn right! And Akane, 
You come with me. Huh? Oh, that's an unusual combo. <laughs> Could this guy be? Huh? It's nothing like that, idiot. There's just something I want to talk to her about. Uh. I don't mind. Whatever. Whatever's fine. Wow. Wow. When you two stand right next to each other, there's a noticeable height difference. Bastard! Drop it, bastard! You. Hey, if we're gonna go, let's hurry up and go. Damn right! Alright, then we'll go on ahead first. With those parting words, the two of them left the area. Miss Sonia! Well, Miss Sonia, I guess it's time we also... However... Sonia already left with Gundam. See, I knew it. There's something going on. They, 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 she loves it. They got a love connection, and I'm in for it. Unless Sonya's the traitor, in which case, fuck off. Get away from Gundam and his cute hamsters. Oh my! Huh? <laughs> oh, you got dumped. Get fucked, nerd. Of course not! You idiot. I didn't get dumped. Why would I get dumped? In fact, I'm really popular. Clearly. That's obviously not true. Now then. Now then. I think it's time for me to get going too, so... Hey. Chiaki, would you like to go together? Huh? Me? Yep. I haven't really had a chance to talk to you, so I thought this would be a great opportunity. Oh, I don't want to go with Chiaki. For now. Then uh, take me with you too. Three people is okay, right? Okay, at least I don't get stuck with Kazuichi. Huh? Uh, that's fine, but... <laughs> oh, I get it. Kazuichi's trying to avoid Hajime. I'm fine with that. Hey, hey, hey! What are you talking about? Avoid Hajime? It's nothing like that. I mean, if I get to be with a cool-ass robot, that's fine. What do you what do you mean? Well, call it a hunch. Maybe Kazuichi can't stop thinking about it. You know, the possibility the the the, the, the possibility that you're the traitor, bro. He literally is in love with the girl whose last name is never mind. What? <laughs> I was just I just said what Kazuichi was feeling. I mean, well, you know, the truth is, if we don't know anything about you. Uh, the truth is, we don't know anything about you, so it's not my fault if I don't trust you. Oh yeah, but you totally trust Nagito, who clearly seems trustworthy. W what does that mean? We've been together this whole time and you still don't know who I am? That's obviously you wrong! You forced me to perv on the girls with you. Like that matters. It's not like I know the real you. Just like how how we didn't know anything about me, Khan. The real me? Huh? This is real, this is me, this is exactly- I don't remember how the song goes. Something, something, Jonas Brothers, something, something, Demi Lovato. And the only reason we're here is because you were the one who suggested we go to the funhouse, right? Are you saying I lured you guys here? Why would I do that? That's right! It's not that far-fetched, you know? Uh. I'm sorry, Hajime. I really do want to trust you. Hmm. But I just can't yet. I mean, I don't really like you that much, because you're weird, but okay. That's why I'm going with Chiaki. It's not like I want to go with Nagito either. But you're saying Nagito's more trustworthy than... Bleh, bleh, more trustworthy than me? What the hell? Damn it. Why did this happen? Yep. If that's the case, it is what it is. Why don't you come along with us, Kazuichi? Mm. Ah, but... It's fine, Chiaki. Just go. Yep. Got it. I'll see you later. With that, Kazuichi, Chiaki, and Nyakito all left together to explore the area. Huh? Guess where the leftovers? Looks like we're not very well liked. Oh man, I love <laughs> I, I I love Mechamaru. He's fucking sick. Look at him. <laughs> it's not like complaining about it will change anything. We're just a traitor and a robot after all. I'm not the traitor. Oh. Oh, that's right. My apologies. I'm still a robot, so it's like the Iron Giant. Me stay, you go, no following. Well then, how'd you make? Let's show everyone the value in leftovers. Let's magnificently find the exit with our very own hands. If we do that, I will, it will solve everything. When people stop trusting you, it seriously sucks. Okay. Um, I wanna go down the slide. Monokuma said that this open area is apparently an indoor park. As if expected of Strawberry House, the playground equipment scattered around has a strawberry theme. Of course, it's I'm not a kid who'd be amused by something like this. Besides, I don't have time to play anyway. Aw, boo. You suck. A lot of different types of flowers blooming in the garden. 
Looks like there are sunflowers, but I guess there aren't any strawberries. Alright, I guess we should just leave. No matter where I look, every area is decorated with strawberry patterns. It hurts my head. I don't hate strawberries, but if these patterns continue, I might start to get sick of them. Oh? Hmm. According to Monokuma's map, the only thing on the third floor is the park we're currently at. Then it looks like I don't have any business on this floor. <laughs> Just so you know, Hajime, let me know whenever you're feeling thirsty. Is he talking about his soda fountain? I don't really want to drink anything that comes out of his eyes. I mean, it's just, it's just Coke and tea, right? Unless it's laced with something like, I don't know, some sort of poison. According to the map, there should be guest rooms in this lounge on the second floor. Oh! All right, I shall explore the guest rooms. The lounge is all you. Yeah, got it. All right. Holy shit, he teleported. Uh, this is this is a lounge. There's a teacup and a, whatever the hell this is, and it's ugly as fuck. Oh no, this is the lounge. Hmm. So this is the lounge. It's also completely co covered in strawberries. It's going to be a difficult to relax here. I guess for now, I should look for things that might be able to use, or that I might be able to use. Who the hell is this guy? There's no portrait hanging in the wall. Why would there be a portrait in a place like this? It seems very out of place. Also, the placard in this portrait. Hope Speak Academy founder. Uzuru... U U Uzuru... Uzuru? Uzuru Kamakura. Why would a portrait of someone as important as a founder of Hope Speak Academy be in a place like this? Also, this name. It's so hard to pronounce. Damn, you're right. I thought it was just me not being able to speak in- or not, that's not even English, it's Japanese. Thanks to the wall clock, I know what time it is, but knowing the time isn't going to help things. I also don't know if that's the correct time. Oh, a telephone. The fact that there's a phone in this building is clearly suspicious. I Will I be able to call someone with this? When I walked toward the telephone, I immediately noticed- What's this? Instead of numbered buttons, there's just a single button with a grape image on it. But why grapes? Why not strawberries? Well, for now, I'll give it a press. Ah, sounds like it's connecting to somewhere. Seven days. Oh shit, it's the ring! But no one's picking up. Let me tell you this. What a mysterious device. It may be used for summoning original originals rituals. A novice should it carelessly the carelessly touch it. It's probably not that dangerous. Aside from the button, it looks like any other regular telephone. But it doesn't work like a normal telephone, and I don't even know where it was connecting to. This too must be the Gee, will of causality. What's going on? My four talk devas of destruction are investigating the area. But it seems there's nothing of note to report. Listen! Why have you given up? There may still be something on this floor we have not searched yet. Y yeah you're right. It's still too soon to give up. I'll leave that matter to your discretion. Okay. Alright, I should try exploring the first floor. I haven't seen it yet. Um... Alright. I can hear voices inside. Sounds like someone's in there. Oh shit, they're having sex! Oh, whoa. Hey, hey! Hey, what do you want to talk about? Well, well, you know, or, well, you know, I'm sure you don't want to hear this since I uh, caused a similar incident. I already know that that guy like me has no right to say this to you, but hm. when I look at you, I just have to say something. What? And spit it out. Hey! You don't need to act so stubborn, you know, because. I know what you're going through. Huh? I miss pudding as well. So? The only reason you're standing here right now is because someone sacrificed himself for you. I feel guilty about that, isn't that right? Like? Hey, what are you talking about? I know. So, if I just went to the first floor, would I miss this? Good thing I checked. So, you don't want to be honest about it, huh? Well, I understand that feeling too. You? Seriously, what the hell are you talking about? So, like he said, it's better just to be alive. Might hurt to look at his painful appearance right now. Damn it. You're much better off because at least he's still alive. I mean, for me. Sorry. Sorry. 
Huh? Oh, are you crying? I... Right now, I feel very grateful to her. I can't tell her that anymore. So... But you're different, so... Huh. Make sure you tell him how grateful you are. Huh? Wait. So, what are you trying to say again? Quietly left the guest room so they wouldn't notice me. Oh, but I wanted the Monokuma there. I want that. Damn it. Puyuhiko took the time to talk to her. But it looks like Akane didn't really understand the conversation. And I didn't get the Monokuma. Anything in here of interest? Um, doesn't really look like it. Sheesh. However, I never expected we'd lose three people during my absence. Yeah, Kyoko mm. and Ibuki. Those two are quite the noisy bunch. But it's as if a fire was smothered. And I cannot believe Mikon was the one who murdered them. That's why, no matter what shape you're in, we're all extremely happy that you came mm. back to us. <sighs> That I must live up to everyone's expectations. You want some soda? As long as I'm here, I will not tolerate any more victims. I won't allow it. Hey guys, I found a body. Fuck! Alright. There's nothing interesting in here. Can I go back in the standard room to get the thing? No. Alright, let's check out the crummy room. Before we head downstairs. Um, yeah, there's nothing interesting in here. Okay, let's go downstairs. Stairs. There isn't, there wasn't anything terribly important on the third or second floor, but that doesn't mean there's nothing here. I should look around thoroughly. Holy shit, that's terrifying. Okay, I'm not gonna go there. Uh, that's an elevator, it's probably not that important. T turn What a useless corner. What do you have to say? <laughs> Everyone is a symbol of hope. They're all completely different compared to a quitter like me. Someone like me? I'm terribly sorry that someone like me is forced to be with everyone like this. Okay. Okay, I'll do that. Uh, I guess last? Huh? Whoa, what? Is there anything you want to say to me? No, nothing. Possibility isn't zero. I do think it's extremely close to zero. Z z z zero, but it's never gonna be zero, no matter what. Ah. I'm sorry, Hajime. Alright, fine, fuck off too. Hey, Chiaki. Oh, look at her fucking hoodie, it's adorable. What happened? Did you get tired again? Nope. No, I was just thinking. Why strawberry? Hmm? Why is that? Hmm. Personally, I think tangerines are totally fine too. Or even fruits like peaches and apples. Yeah, any of those fruits would have been fine. Hey, hey! Then why strawberry? Who knows? Yep. Such a mystery. Y yeah What was that conversation just now? Okay. Bathroom. Looks like this is a bathroom. <laughs> Ugh! Every time I see a bathroom, I get this lonely feeling. I can't shit. Sure. When in the world is my constipation going to be fixed? Good question. Um, okay. Uh, I guess the only thing left is over here. Well, other than the dead oh? room. I see, so there's a strawberry hall. It seems this place is also filled with strawberries. What a creepy looking hallway. As I, re er, as I recall, Strawberry Tower is on the other side of this door, right? Oh. According to the map, that's correct. Fool. However, this order is all wrong. Yeah. It obviously makes more sense to finish investigating the first floor before going to the other areas. I get it. You don't need to raise your voice so suddenly. It's bad for my heart. <laughs> that's sarcasm toward me for not having a heart. Or for having no heart. There's no way I'm going to let that bring me down. You seriously don't feel down, huh? I don't have emotions, I'm a fucking robot. Alright, let's go. <laughs> the order is wrong! Yeah. It obviously- Oh, okay. I already know that. Can I not... go through there? 
I have to... This door looks like it gives a, f a different vibe compared to everything else. Yeah, it's a creepy clown. The final dead room. Allow me to explain. All right. The final dead room is a challenge given to you by the headmaster Monokuma. That's me. Only those who win a life-threatening game that occurs in this room will be able to reach the octagon at the fabled holy land where the ultimate weapon sleeps. <laughs> Now then, if you're feeling heroic, and you're able, and you're willing to risk your life to continue living, you should challenge the final dead room. Bet, let's do it. I ain't scared. Oh, I mean, I'm scared of the door. I hate that door. Life-threatening game? What the hell is that? Did you just say I can obtain the ultimate weapon if I win? It's a bong. Hell, stupid. Who the hell is going to do that? Oh my gosh, I hear bong! Okay. Um... Ah, isn't this an elevator? But that's weird. The only stairs are between this building's second and third floor. Does this mean there's a basement? There's a button next to the door. A grape image. It's the same button. It's the same as the button on the lounge telephone. What will happen if I press this? And so, without really thinking about it, I tried to press that button, but I turned into a grape. It's not reacting at all. Is it out of order? I don't really get it. It looks like. I don't really get it, but it looks like this elevator isn't usable. What is it, Hajime? Did you find something? That uh, that final dead room place sounds suspicious, but going inside might be a little dangerous. Yeah, because a room called the final dead room wouldn't be dangerous at all. Huh? No, wait. Uh, it's not even it's not even worth playing if all you get after winning is a weapon. Oh. No, wait, no, that's what he said. What did I say before that? Uh, Monokuma did mention a life-threatening game. Now then, the others should be at Strawberry Tower at the far back of Strawberry Hall. Show some spirit! Let's get going already! Okay. According to the map, Strawberry Tower is on the other side of this door. <laughs> no, there's no doorknob. There's no way we could open a door like this. Not like... There's a button that says open. Maybe you just have to press the button that's next to the door? You know, the one that says open written on it? I wonder what that means. It's funny, it's spelled like the word open! I... wait, seriously? Huh? Anyway, I just have to press this button then. Nekomaru raised his right arm and vigorously slammed the button more times than he needed to. What's up with the grapes? So this is Strawberry Tower, huh? This building is shaped like a huge circle. Plus, the ceiling is so high I can't really make it out. Sheesh! Gee, more of these bright red decorations. What terrible taste. Huh? Well, with a name like Strawberry Tower, I guess the terrible decorations are intentional. That's right. This is Strawberry Tower, right? Then why... Why do I see something that doesn't match the strawberry theme at all? It's the Monomi! No, it's the grapes, obviously. There's a picture on the floor. It's Usami's face. She had a strawberry in her mouth. Even this is strawberry themed, huh? Well, at least it's not an illustration of Monokuma. There's no hidden Monokumas around. Okay, nope. Grapes. There's a huge door at the back of the tower, but there's a grape image on it. It's a grape of wrath. I thought this was strawberry tower. Wait, this image? Doesn't it match the one on the... Lounge phone, and also the one found in near the first floor elevator? Oh? Yeah, that was like five minutes ago. Shouldn't have forgotten it that easily. Perhaps this door might be the exit! Huh? Exit? Huh? Take a look at the map we received from Monokuma. I see. There's a door at the far back of Strawberry Tower, but nothing is drawn on the other side of that door. Now, doesn't this mean that the exit is on the other side of this door? Therefore, we must try to confirm it by opening this door. This door that we must open is a door that should be opened by us. This door. Okay. Nekomori let out a battle cry, grabbed the door knob tightly with both hands, and attempted to pry open the door. However, what does this mean? The doorknob will budge not even one bit. Is it locked? Well, shit. It appears to be locked tight. Oh, shit. I'm mistaking shits. Uh, 
Oh shit, I can shit again. Nice. Show some spirit! In that case, I shall use my fuel power. Roar! With a fierce roar, Nekomaru put all his power into grabbing the doorknob with both hands. But... Clatter. <laughs> <sighs> Not yet. Here it comes. The incredible strength of one million horsepower! Whoa! Wait, isn't it creaking? If you break off the doorknob, we'll be stuck in here. Huh, huh that would be bad. Sh shouldn't we discuss this with everyone else first before you attempt to force your way through? Yeah, we can get everyone and like body check the door like we did with the music venue. I see. Mm, you have a point. Oh! Very well then, even though the door would have opened soon, I'll give it a rest. Then let's go back to Strawberry House and discuss this with everyone. If they'll listen to what I have to say, that is. Or, yeah, because they don't trust me. Well, I mean, really, it's only Kazuichi that doesn't trust us. Hmm? Is it just me, or does this seem like, seem rowdy by the elevator over there? Did something happen? Someone fall down the elevator shaft? Hi. Hiya! Yo, how are you guys doing? Were you able to get a general idea of Strawberry House's side? Huh? Strawberry House's side? What a strange thing to say. It sounds like there are other buildings. Of course! Of course! That's why there's this thing called a contact elevator. Let me ask. Contact elevator, you say? Hey! Hey! Even though it's an elevator, it's a big mistake to think that it moves vertically. This, this, uh, this is an elevator that travels along a rail, so even moving horizontally is easy as pie. You know that fucking ending to traveling in the chocolate factory with the elevator that goes in all directions It does that? Then does this elevator go to a different building? Yep. That's right, to Grape House. Huh? Grape House? Hey, um... The Fun House is an enormous building that's made up of other buildings. See ya later! Well, we can worry about the details when we get to Grape House. I'll go, I'll be going ahead. Huh? I don't really get it, but you wanted to tell us to go to the Grape House this time, right? Um... And that we must find the elevator, right? Are we screwed? What should we do? We should ride the elevator, buddy. Show some spirit! Ah, we just have to go for it. The only way we can overcome this situation is to make a move. I mean... But still, you know. <laughs> what? You scared? Fucking of pussy. course not! Ah, oh, hell no. Why are you saying that in front of Miss Sonia? Or why are you saying that in front of Miss Sonia? Huh? I don't care. Fine, I'll fucking go. <laughs> I'm not scared at all. Well, I don't have it as bad as Kazuichi, but I do have a bad feeling about this. But we can't just stand here and do nothing. Alright, let's go! When I press the great button next to the door, it immediately opens. We stepped onto the elevator, and off we went to Grape House. Grapes of Mouse, Grapes of House, ooh, it's a puzzle elevator. Is it? Is this already moving? Hmm. If so, that'd be awesome. How so? Hey. I mean, it's not vibrating at all, right? It's probably a really high-performance elevator if it's not vibrating all that much. Hmm. Maybe it's... Er... Maybe it's not actually moving. Alright, let's open the door and make sure! You must not! You cannot! That is too dangerous! After staying, in, staying inside the vibration-free elevator, eventually the door in front of us suddenly opened. It appears we've arrived at our destination. I'm a GPS. So this is Grape House. It's like it's it's, it's better. Like the the wallpaper is not good, but it's better than the strawberry one. No matter where I look, everything is plastered with grape patterns. I was already fed up with the strawberry patterns, but this is also unpleasant. Welcome. Okay, welcome to Grape House. Now then, allow me to explain the Grape House. Basically, it's grapes. That's that's it. It's grapes. What? Grape House in, 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 in its entirety. So let's explore. Let's start explaining the first floor. Ahem, aside from the fact that there's no final dead room, it's basically no different than Strawberry House. Just like how there's a strawberry hall over there, there's a grape hall on this side. And when you go to Grape Hall, that means there's a great tower. The second floor of Grape House is the same as the second floor of Strawberry House. I prepared five guest rooms of different types along with a relaxing lounge. 
But the main attraction of Grave House is obviously the third floor. The Monokuma Archive. Everyone loves Monokuma Archive. If you want to know about my product accomplishments and contributions, feel free to study the literature here. Hmm. Now then, this concludes the tour, but I believe it'd be difficult to understand if you had just explained with words. So you should all use your own two feet to check out the inside of the building. Hmm? That's all for me. Any questions? How are babies made? Really? Um... Uh, uh, I'll explain later. Like... Like, I'm starting to get hungry. Where's the food anyway? Huh? Uh, is that necessary? Hey! What, what are you saying? Of course it is. <laughs> but it's supposed to be an escape game, so how can there be any tension if there's no time limit? Yahoo! So I decided to put your stomachs at the time as the time limits. To use your stomachs. Don't tell me! What do you mean? In other words... Well, simply put, <laughs> it means kill someone before you starve to death. Lies! Damn, that's fucked up. What, what the heck? <laughs> if you're planning to kill someone, I highly recommend you make your kill as soon as possible. <laughs> but it's too late to get so weak you have no energy to kill. Hey! Hey, hold on. What? I vote we eat Kazuichi. Damn it! Damn it! How much more of this do we have to take until he's satisfied? Damn it. Uh, was he serious about being no there being no food? I don't want that! No way! That's the one thing I don't want! I don't mind starving as long as I can eat. Wait. That's not how starvation works, buddy. But alright. You do you. Uh, let me just eat already. Jeez. As soon as she learned there was no food, she was be she was overcome by hunger. Obsessions are truly annoying. Well, you know. I mean, he's fine. He doesn't have to eat. He's a robot. Right? <laughs> but at least try to stay calm. Now it's not the time for you to panic. Hey. Well, being loud here isn't gonna help us, so for now, we should explore the inside of this building too. Right? After all, if you don't give up, you're sure to find hope. Isn't that right, Fuyuhiko? Huh? I give up. Yeah, that's right. All right. Now let's get started. The same pairing as before is fine, right? Hey, hey, hey! Hold on. This time around, I really want to pair up with Miss Sony. I'm already on. Like... Journey Love with Gundam. Yep. 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 They, they, they got a love thing. Hmm. Looks like you're being avoided, not just rejected. Haha, <laughs> get fucked. Hey. Kazuichi, I understand that you're feeling down, but we better get going. Damn right. Akane, you too. How much longer are you gonna stay shocked? Come on, let's go. With heavy steps, everyone left to explore the grape house. Then... Now then, where should we start? Since we're on the first floor, it might be okay if we start with the Great Tower. I see. Hmm, so you're saying you're going to start with the most suspicious place. <laughs> Alright, then let's start with Great Tower. Show some spirit! Let's start with Great Tower! Anyway, let's find the exit. Damn it, there's no way I'm gonna let myself starve to death in here. Better kill someone. Uh, eeny meeny, I pick Kazuichi. Let's get rid of him. Great Hall door. Grape Tower's beyond this door, right? Just like Strawberry at Strawberry Hall, I only need to press this button. Show some spirit! Alright, leave it to me! Nekumari raised his voice and vigorously slammed the button more times than he needed to. Huh? Hmm, it's not opening. Huh, that's weird. When we were at Strawberry Hall, this should have opened. What? Don't tell me it's out of order. Fine. Uh, time for weird. To break down. Well, it obviously shouldn't. The chunk. Huh? Hmm. Do you hear something? No. I'm deaf. And that's when Nekomaru started shouting. Oh, it opened. The door opened. But what was that pause just now? Why didn't the door open right away? Almost like this was entirely useless. I see. So this is Grape Tower. Hmm, the structure of this building doesn't seem that all that different compared to Strawberry Tower. Yeah, you're right. The building is the same circular shape and the ceiling is just as high and hard to make out. <clears throat> it's hard to make out. I can't make out with Nekomaru. No. <laughs> However, this wall is green. Strawberry Tower's wall is red. The sky is blue. My pants are brown, because I pooped them. 
Well, speaking of different, there's something blatantly different over there. Yeah, there's a strawberry on that door. Congratulations, Hajime. You know basic fruit. On the great tower door at the far back, there's a strawberry image on there. Mm. A strawberry door inside Grape Tower, that sounds complicated. It's like the opposite of Strawberry Tower. Yeah, no shit. Uh, as I recall, there should have been a grape image on the back, far back door of Strawberry Tower. Huh? Mm. So, on the strawberry side, there's a grape door, and on the grape side, there's a strawberry door. Then what's on the blueberry side? That's even more complicated. <laughs> However, this time, this door might connect to the outside. I see. It's obviously... It's obvious by looking at this map, since there's nothing beyond the far back of door of Grape House. <laughs> so, if so, the only thing we can do is try! Hold it! Hold it. Hammer time. Da -da 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 -da. Okay. I heard what you guys were discussing, but it'd be pointless to even try, I think. What? What did you say? Before we get to that, why are you- Er, before we get to that, why are you here, Chiaki? Weren't you with Nagito and Kazuichi? Hmm... It's exhausting to be around those two, I get that. So, you ran away. I love that for her. What's up? Well? Um, that door doesn't lead outside. I think it's pointless to even try it out. Er... Oh, she was... okay. Definitely. <laughs> Definitely, you say. It's rare for Chiaki to be that certain. Yep. I'm quite certain there's a jerkin in my curtain. Oh, <laughs> I don't even remember what she said. I have a good reason for that. I think I found out the secret to the Fawn House's structure. The secret of the structure? Want me to tell you? Want me to tell you? Do you want me to explain it all to you? Well, pay close attention to each house's relationship to its respective tower. Hey, hey! First, try to remember the first floor of Strawberry House. From the elevator, Strawberry Hall is on your left-hand side, right? And if you walk along it, you'll end up at Strawberry Tower, right? See? On the other hand, Grape House. From the elevator, Grape Hall is on your right-hand side, right? And if you walk along it, you'll end up at Grape Tower, right? Um... Now, here comes the main point. With those two buildings... Whoa! Ah, so you were here all along. Damn it. Hey, hey! Hey, Chiaki, don't go running off on your own. Hey. I'm not on my own. I'm with these two. You disappeared so suddenly. I was worried about you. Kazuichi, Nagito... You... Thanks to your disappearance, I was left all alone with Nagito. Man... I don't know who'd be worse to be left alone with, the guy who's clearly a psychopath or Kazuichi. Huh? Was that annoying for you? That's right! Uh, yeah, it was. I don't want to be alone with a creep like you. I could say the same thing about you. And it's ironic that way, isn't it? Uh, the... This is trouble. I see. So it's not just Hajime. You don't trust me either, huh, Kazuichi? Hey. Hey. Are you okay? Have you stopped trusting other humans? Shut up! Shut well, up! Well, yeah, thanks to you, bastard. Huh? Huh? You all came. <laughs> Good timing. You didn't have to, to waste any time gathering people. Huh? That was quick. Thought your investigation would take more time. Well, yeah. There aren't many areas to search, and we didn't find any good clues. Damn it. None that were blue, at least. Bow, bow. Right now, the only thing I found is I, there's I seriously don't get this no food all. anywhere. This isn't funny at all. Damn it! I heard yeah, that it's super painful to die from starvation. Before that happens, why don't we, you know, the hamsters that Gundam carries around? That's fucked up. I'd rather kill you and eat you than the hamsters. So at least the hamsters have a purpose. You insolent fool! You imbecile! What are you implying? Ah! ah, I'm sorry. That was close. Kazuichi, you should be grateful to Sonya. If you'd gotten your hands on my four dark devas of destruction, 
Your body would be incinerated by hellfire. Hey, hey. But what are the hamsters going to be? But are the hamsters going to be okay without food? I shall engulf this Fortunately, world. Fortunately, the flowers blooming in Strawberry House's indoor park are cursed flowers from Hell's Garden. As long as those seeds are there, the four dark davas of destruction shall not lose a single hit point. <laughs> I'm relieved to hear that. Oh. Now then, let's listen to your reports and see what you guys have found. Personally, I'd rather let Chiaki continue her talk, but... Oh well, I should listen to what everyone has to say. Now then! Is it fine if Gundam, Fuyuhiko, and I present our teams and... Represent our teams and give the reports? No. Damn right! Yeah, I don't mind. <laughs> <laughs> Rejoice, mongrels. I've discovered something that you fiends will be happy to hear about. Of course! Yes, our team's discovery is number one. We shall not lose. I think their priorities are off slightly. Um... Alright, let's go with Gundam first. <laughs> now then, I shall present to you my discovery. Let me tell you I won't let this. you say such nonsense like I forgot. Monokuma himself said it before... Er, Monokuma said it himself before we arrived here. He said there are ship pods in the fun house. Hey, hey! Could, could it be? <laughs> Kazuichi and you lonely, lowly humans. Kneel! Fall to your knees and show your gratitude to me. The overlord of ice. Uh, the, wait. The overlord of ice of the destroyed world of death. Feast your eyes on this. <laughs> Behold, a motor. It's a ship part. I love how the hamster is resting on his wrist. That's a, so cute. Also, nice. Based on... Based on its extremely still size, isn't that... <laughs> that's just a radio-controlled toy. Fine. Allow me to tell you a little old story. I was born as a result of a union between a human and a demon. And my existence was shunned by both races. Perhaps it's because nobody has ever bought me a toy before. But I believe this is truly remarkable. Oh, that's sweet. Shut up! Shut up! I'm not asking about that. You mean the ship pot you found was just some radio-controlled toy? Loser! Hey, you totally got tricked! Never said a single word about the shipping real stupid idiot moron! Looks like we don't even have the strength to get upset. Hmm. It might be better if we leave him alone for a while. Maybe because he weirds me out. So, it was definitely a waste of time to believe Monokuma. If so, what he said about our student profiles might be a lie too. But our situation is getting so grim that I can't really focus on that right now. Uh, okay. Uh, who's next? Guess who you he goes. Damn right. I'm sure the others already know, but let me tell you just in case. The second floor of Grape House is also has a guest room similar to the ones on the second floor of Strawberry House. Hmm. But instead of being covered with strawberry patterns, they're covered with grape patterns. Mmm, grapes. Also. Yummy. Also, like the guest rooms, there's a similar lounge here as well. There's also a phone in the lounge, too. However, instead of the grape button, that was on the phone in Strawberry House's lounge. There's the strawberry button on the phone in Grape House's lounge. Now then. No, I'm just getting at this point, but... I'm just guessing at this point, but... It's possible that we can use other those two phones to communicate with each other. For sure. Uh, so the picture on the buttons shows where each phone connects to. The pictures on the button shows where each phone connects to. That's probably it. I'm so glad for your input there. That that was so great, Hajime. All right, let's see what this ass hat has then. to say. Allow me to give you a brief report. Someone like me. Uh. 
Since I'm the one who made this discovery, it's just as important as I am. No good at all. Which means, it's not that important at all. Hey, bastard! Good. Shut up. Just hurry up and say it already. Um... Well, it's about the third floor of Grape House. See? Do you remember what Monokuma said about a Monokuma archive on the third floor? I actually tried to go there. Jeez. Like the name suggests, it was an archive full of stuff about Monokuma. I should save. You remind me of those celebrities who build their memorial house in their hometown. Mm. Are there celebrities that do that? I don't think I've ever heard of a celebrity doing that before. Even uh, then it looks like we don't ever need to go in there. Actually... Ah, uh, also, I found a lost child at the Monokuma Archive. What? A lost child? What? Huh? Where did she go? I think you're going crazy. Well, more crazy than you already are. Hey! Hey, don't just hide. Come on out. <laughs> oh, this fucker. Hello. So this, so the last child was you. Right? Right? That's how people react, right? Well, I had a general idea of how you all would react. <laughs> it's okay, I won't be the question anymore. I'm used to being treated so poorly. Are you gonna snap like me, Con, and kill two people? Hehe, <laughs> how sad. It's so sad to get used to it. <sighs> she seems a little tense. Um. Um, did Monokuma bring you here as well, Manoni? <laughs> yes, I'm so ashamed of myself for getting carelessly twicked, twicked by him. No! I'm afraid we are as a teacher. I have no right to guide everyone. Like... Okay. Leave. Nobody here continues, uh, considers you a teacher anyways. Or to begin with. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm honestly happy that you're here. Hmm? Huh? <sighs> hey, are you a complete stuffed animal? Is there any part of you left that's still rabbit meat? No! I'm expecting it to be food. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Hey, hey! Um, that was the last report, right? And is it okay if I go now? This is what you mentioned earlier, right? About the structure of the funhouse? Let me ask. The structure of the funhouse? Wow, for once it's not me repeating things. Well? Well, I've come to a conclusion. The grape tower that we're currently... Or that we're in currently. And the strawberry tower we were in earlier. I think they're actually the same building. <laughs> The two buildings are this. The two towers are the same building, you say? <laughs> I see. What makes you think that? See? Their positions. Well? Inside Strawberry House, Strawberry Hall is on your left when, you, when your back is facing the elevator, right? Um... But inside Grape House, Grape Hall is on your right when your back is facing the elevator, right? So, and so. If you think about it and put those two together... Hmm. The two towers are the same building, and each house connects to the center. That's the building structure that comes to mind. Oh! Hmm. Interesting. What? Strawberry Tower and Grape Tower are the same building? But uh, that... But that might be a possibility! Come on, take a look at that door! Isn't that the strawberry image? Isn't that strawberry image the same one that's on the elevator and telephone? Then, in the same way, wouldn't that image on the door also be showing where it leads to? I see. If that's the case, wouldn't it mean that strawberry house is beyond that door with the strawberry images on it? Um. As well as the opposite. The grape door that was at Strawberry Tower would lead to Grape House. Meaning we opened the Grape House door when we came here. So... Meaning depending on which door we use, this tower changes to either Strawberry Tower or Grape Tower. Perhaps... Which means, when you look at the other side of the, of the Grape Hall door that we used to come in here... Yep. Yep. 
The great picture should actually be on here. Hey. Then all we gotta do is confirm it, right? If we can close that door from the other side. Mm hmm. Hmm. That might be impossible. Huh? Impossible? Why? Well, Hajime and Nakamaru were the first ones to enter Great Tower, right? Oh! What's wrong with that? Well? When you two entered Great Tower from Great Hall, didn't it take a little while for the door to open after you pressed the button? Huh? See? So, just as I assumed. How, how'd you know? Um... How, how, how'd you may? Hajime, that's me, I'm Hajime! Great. When I was walking around by myself, I went back to Strawberry House for a while. I felt like there was something I missed when suddenly, the Strawberry Hall door would automatically close in front of me. Huh? The door automatically closed? Yep. And afterward, no matter how much I pressed the button, the Strawberry Hall door wouldn't open. Um... But why? Perhaps... The doors to Strawberry Tower and Grape Tower must be designed so that only one can open at a time. See? I mean, if both doors open at the same time, we'd easily find out that both towers are the same building. If that happens, it wouldn't be a fun house anymore, right? I mean, we easily found it out anyways, because you found it out, but all right. Hmm. Then, the reason the Strawberry Hall door automatically closed in front of you so what I mean is... Was it be- Or was it because we opened the Grape Hall door? Yep. When that happened, the Grape Hall door didn't open because it was waiting for Strawberry Hall's door to close. If you think about it like that, it makes sense, right? Like... Like, you're saying all this hard stuff I don't get, but like, but aren't you forgetting the most basic problem? The color of the walls in Strawberry Tower and Grape Tower are different, you know? There's no way they're the same building. You don't know? You didn't notice? They're just lights on the floor being shined on the wall. By reflecting a color onto a white wall, it just it makes it look like the wall color has changed. Wait! Then what about the picture on the floor? Is that different too? Yeah, it's probably just another light. Um... Maybe the floor is just a screen, and the picture is being projected from beneath the floor. In fact, when you look at it closely, it's not a picture that was exactly drawn on the floor. I got it. Oh, I see. Then it's safe to say they're the same building, right? But... But, this is a very important problem. So it's better if we test it out. So isn't it better if we test it out? Test? Um... Tickles. <laughs> Testicles. <laughs> For example, we should leave something behind here and we'll all go to Strawberry Tower. Right. And if it's still there, we can conclude that they're the same building, right? I see. Want me to stay then? Hold on! No, that's impossible. There's a sensor preventing that. Huh? Huh? Sensors? Huh? Don't you feel it? There are countless sensors plastered all over the tower's walls and floors. <laughs> Why can't you notice them? Hey, hey! I'm most surprised that you, that you actually noticed them. Well, he is a robot. Huh? My guess is... That sensor can probably detect any movement within the tower. Hmm. And when it reacts, it prevents the door from opening. I knew there would at least be something like that. Okay, so just leave an inanimate object. Hey. By the way, how good is that sensor's performance? Hmm. It's quite high performance. I'm quite high. That's why I think I'm a robot. It seems that it can be it can detect even detect your heartbeats and breathing patterns. I get it. It'd be completely impossible for someone to stay behind. Hey, hey! What about Nekomaru? He's a heartless robot. <laughs> I have a motor running inside me. It's as good as any human heart. But... But if you're in sleep mode, that function will come to, st to a stop too, right? Sheesh! Like you said, if I cease all functions with sleep mode, the sensor won't detect it, but... Shushin! Do you need to go that far to test it? I won't tolerate any robo-prejudice. <laughs> Sorry, you're right. Hmm. And once I enter sleep mode, I will not regain consciousness until the good night switch is pressed again, or if my chest alarm goes off. <laughs> I'm a little concerned about being left alone in that state. You insolent fool! It is far too dangerous. Even as an experiment, it is possible well if we might violate the laws of robotics. Hey, hey. Then why don't we just use this? 
my student handbook. Oh, I forgot those were a thing. I'll leave this handbook here and we'll all move over to Strawberry House. And if by chance the handbook is still there, we can safely say that the two towers are the same, right? Two towers? Yo, that's a good movie. We should watch that. Let's go do it right now. Yeah, you're right. Let's try this. We left behind Chiaki Z handbook right away. Then we left Grape Tower and made our way to Strawberry Tower. Next time on Bang and Romper 2, Goodbye Despair. Hey, uh, the, where's the elevator? Uh, the, the, there's the elevator. Ugh, uh, elevator! I see, I see. I must say, this elevator is rather quiet. It is like the Toad's Waltz. Oh wait, never mind. Okay, I don't even know what that means. Also, never mind, that's her last name, I guess.